Right. So first, for your demographic table, you must get a demography. So demography is answered here. So analyze descriptive frequencies. So from age until Age quantitative, maybe you can categorize the age, gender is there, nationality, country non it, university non it, living arrangement, income, all right. Because that's demography. So next, we're going to well being. How many items of well being? Five. 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 They're going to compute well underscore B because the other variables created is equals to sum of W1 to W5 times by 25. Is that right? Is that right? Or four? Uh, prof, is it? Uh, yeah, four. Thanks for okay. All right. Okay, because that variable is created, is created, and that's last variable well being. So we take from here onwards. Okay, so from this onwards is our variables. Next, which variable? Next is which variable? Sense of coherence. Ah, coherence. Under coherence, what's the first one? Meaningfulness. Meaningful. Okay, meaningfulness. Which items? C1. C1. C4. C4. And C8. C8. Now, do you want to convert to 100%? Okay, how they measure? What scale? Is it 1 to 5 or 1 to 6? Each one measure one to five or one, one to seven. Or oh, one to seven. Okay, one to yes. seven. How to make it hundred percent? One to seven. How many items? Three items. Maximum twenty-one, right? Yes. Yeah. Each one one to seven. The maximum score will be seven times seven. Seven times three, twenty-one, right? 21 times what will be 100? 21 times what will be 100? Yeah? 100 divided by 21? 100 divided by 21, right? Okay, that'll be score upon 100. So meaningfulness upon 100. Let's make it all upon 100. Next one. What's next? Manageability. Manageability. Okay, which items? C2. C2. C7. C7. And 9. So they've been reverse coded, right? Have they been reverse coded? Some of the negative items? Yes. Huh? Yes. Okay. Yes. That's it. The next one. Next variable? Comprehensibility. 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 Okay, which items? C3. C3. C5. Huh? And 6. C5 and C6. C5 and 6. All right. So sure they've been reverse coded, huh? Yes? yes, prof. Yes, prof. Yes, prof. Yeah, that group. They're very well. Let's go to anxiety now. Anxiety. Anxiety is which items? A1, right? A1 to 5. A1 to A5. Right. 
So this has got on scale of one to four, right? Is that right? Yes, Prof. One yes. Four. So Mason score 20. All right, divide by 20 times 100. Times five, right? Hi, this times five, right? Guys. Right. Yes, Prof. Right, or you make it fine. So maximum is 20, so 25 times 500. So I made all in the same units of 100, each one. So well-being upon 100, meaningfulness, integrity, manageability, all are upon 100. So easier to make comparison, right? Different scales may be a bit difficult. So you compare well-being and anxiety, right? Looks like low here, high here, isn't it? Look yes, at Prof. The next one here. Yes. Just well-being and anxiety. Looks like the opposite direction. So first, we put in demography. Just now you just send me a demographic table. Right. Demography done. Next. Summary for what? For well being. Next. Coherence, right? Sense of coherence. Sense of coherence. And anxiety. Okay, these are three, five variables here. Okay, let's do a test whether they're normally distributed and other things. Descriptive, explore. So the variables are we created well being until anxiety. Plots, we should see whether normally distributed. Continue and click OK. So there's a mean scores now, well-being, upon 100, only 48. So easier to make comparison, upon 100, only 48. The meaningfulness, manageability, and here, comprehensive, a bit higher. Anxiety is quite high also. Normality, all the variables not normally distributed. We see any major outliers, extreme values. Just outliers, no extreme. Again, outliers, no extremes. No outliers, extremes. All right, just outliers here. Right, so data looks quite symmetrical. To do parametric analysis, we must justify, we must justify at least data is fairly normal. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do frequency, bring in the variables, 36, mean, median, standard deviation, skewness, kurtosis. I'm going to justify that this can be normal using such kurtosis values. Okay, sample size 461. For a sample size 461, if these values are less than two in magnitude, these values less than seven in magnitude, they can be assumed to be fairly normal for a sample size more than 300. So bring this in. Okay, two decimals. All right. Is it yours, sir? Is it yours? No, right? Uh, no, Prof. No. So this is summary for the measures. So name it. This is the we have. This could be summary. 
C'est pas tout. OK, descriptive summary. Or, well-being, weightless, and enjoy. So this is variable. Later, what you do is you write the well-being, okay, right, meaningful, all these things. So as you see in the table now, all the values are 100, right? Yes. Yes. Right. In the questionnaire, there were five items. Okay, five items in our well-being, right? Right? Yes. Yes. Measured on a scale of on a scale of one to five. Uh, Anxiety, also five items, right? Yes. Five items, anxiety, uh, measured on a scale scale of one to four, and let me break it up, okay? Five items in well being, each measured on a scale of one to five, where a value of five indicated. What's five indicated? Eh? One to five? Sorry, Prof. All of the time. So, there are higher five indicators, well, right? Well, isn't it? I've indicated all of the time. Well, well or not well? Five. Uh, yes. Well, yes. right? Okay, well, while. Yes, well. Value of. Yes. Indicated. Not well, right? Okay, correct me if I'm wrong. Yes. Right, because I'm talking well being, generally talking well and not well. Yes, bro. Right. So, next, for anxiety, anxiety. Oh, I think the scale is from zero, zero to five. Zero to five. Okay, is it correct me if I'm wrong? Right. For anxiety, ever. How many items? Five items. Five items. Okay. Each measured on a scale of each measure on a scale of one to four, right? One to four. One to four. Where scale of five, value of five indicated. Anxiety, right? Not anxiety, yeah. Not anxiety, anxiety. No, no, anxiety. Anxiety, right? High level of anxiety while a value of one indicated no anxiety. Sorry, Prof, it's four or five. Value of four. Okay, four. Uh -huh. Right. Now, for the course events, there were three. Domain Conversiveness Over Correct later, okay. How many subdomain? Three. Three subdomain. Subdomain. Are they? Meaningfulness. Meaningfulness, right? Meaningfulness. Meaningful. Manageability. Manageability. And comprehensibility. Okay. 
just come three and put it in. Which I can. Nine. There were three items in Nine. each construct. Right. Same Five. thing. Mm. How are they measured? What is one? Seven. One to seven. From one to seven. One to seven. Okay. Three domains. Subdomains. Uh, three items each measure on a scale of one to seven. Value of one indicate what? Value of one indicate what? A proof it is different from. Well, each one is different, is it? But we have caught it. So yeah. can we say that it, it is the same? Yeah, already reverse have... coded. After reverse coding, yeah. it's the same. Oh, okay. Right? Three items. Each construct measure on a scale of one to seven, right? So yes. Same. Some of the items, items were worded. Basically. So now, the item is construct, each measure of scale, is it one to seven? Yes. Okay, belly one indicator? Yes. One indicate meaningful. One indicate meaningful, eh? Right? Yes. Where a lower, lower, I just put lower, okay? Lower values indicate what? Positive? Positive. Positiveness. Positiveness, yeah. while higher values, higher values indicated what? Negativeness. Negativeness. Negative. Negative. So some of the items were negatively in scoring. The responses reverse coded. Right. You want to reverse code Negativeness. Then what you did? Tell me what you did just now. What we did? We yes, just call, right? Yes. Right. Negativeness. Okay, for all the uh, construct, construct the average, the total, right? The sum of the squares, sum of the values, were okay, and obtain and transform to a score of 0 to 100, right? A summary, descriptive summary, descriptive summary provided. Table one two. We must write slightly so maybe that briefly how the scores, what they measure, how they measure, and uh, what the final score going to be. Are you okay? Yes, prof. Right. So this course right yes, here. Prof. Highest score means for well-being. Highest score means better, right? Yes, better. Mindfulness, all this better. highest score means. Better or worse? Worse. Worse. Anxiety highest score means worse. Worse. Right. For. Yeah. Uh, girls, uh, can I ask for the, the sense of coherence? What is the maximum and the minimum? You want to know right? the one to seven, right? 
हाँ वन टू सेवन था बट देन देर इज अ टोटल स्कोर ऑल्सो इफ आई एम नॉट मिस्टेक इन फॉर दिस थ्री वैसा कट पॉइंट है Cut point is not there. I think thirteen to ninety one. I think it's. What the... it did was we converted all to hundred percent. Okay, but then uh, okay we I don't know if there is a reference for that, but it's okay for now. We can just go. Is it a comparable? Is it yeah? Yeah. We compare which is higher, which is lower. Are they negatively, positively? So okay. now you okay. have all the values here. So discuss the mean scores. For for what? Well-being. Well-being was how much? Forty-eight point. Forty-eight point one nine. Forty-eight point one nine. Upon upon a maximum of four hundred. Correct. Yes, bro. How are you telling now? Maximum is hundred. They only forty-eight, right? Is it half below half? Yes. Yes. The median forty-eight. Forty-eight. Below half. Below, yes. right? So here later you need to present yes. the test mean plus minus standard deviation. Present this as mean plus or minus s. So here also all the mean plus or minus standard deviation, and then take out the standard deviation. All the tables must be mean and standard deviation in one column. So this is nineteen point six nine. Are you following? Yes. Right. And later you remove this. Plus or minus all that and remove this. So mean for well-being is only that. So later you go and take it up into discussion. And talk about it. What does it mean? The mean of well-being only so much. What does it mean? Is it low? I say upon hundred, right? Well-being was forty-eight upon hundred. Next, the mean score for you write all the rest. Are you okay? Yes, from fullest part. Next, the skewness values. Values. Were less than two, and the cutoff is values. Values were less than uh, less than seven. Hence, the distribution distribution were fairly normal. And this justifies later analysis. We're going to do parametric test, right? So that concludes this part. Are you okay? This is a summary, descriptive summary for the measure. Um, yeah. Can I can I just ask in the methodology? Uh -huh. They will still describe the whole thing, right? Manageability. Right. Yes. How will. much detail will be in the methodology, right? Yes. Okay. Now this is for the thesis. Results. The thesis yeah. for paper, we may not have its whole detail. Ah, yes, yes. All right. Yes. Okay. The either turns pages that come to ah. us, they may forget the methodology. Yes. Yes. All right. Next, association between the construct. So what he did was, we did correlation study, right? Yes. Putting subtitle. Yes. So that's a subtitle. It's pretty measured. Or oh, I can tell you better. Right. So this is for subtitle for association between the construct. So we're going to do correlation. So I put the data. Analyze. Correlate. Five variables. So variables are. These are the variables. So here I can use PSN because justified is fairly normal. Otherwise, I must use PMS. Okay. So that's the table we have. Okay. We don't need the entire values. We can remove this.
we are going to use only one half, one half of the table. That means I have to this. Because it's a mirror image. Right. So this value, we go in this, maybe later, take it a word file. So these are things we need. This is Yeah, it is just because prof the, the no. border is not there, right? Yeah. There are one column. Ah, that's one column, but maybe you select the whole column first, the Pearson's one. Yeah. Okay. Ah, and now now maybe. All right. So to get right in full, right in full, the p value, the cat for the p value. So what are the p values here? Are they all less than zero point? Zero, zero, 001. Um, so all the p values are they all less than 0 0.001? Yes. The second row, okay. All are less than 0 0.001. 0 0.001. Right. So the correlation here, mm -hmm. and that's the p value. Mm -hmm. So fill up for the rest. This should be value. And what are the values in brackets? What are the values in brackets? P values, right? P value. Otherwise, people wouldn't know what is that. Mm -hmm. So this completes it. Association between this, the results from correlation analysis are presented. Table three. What is in table three? Tell me what is in table three. Correlation between. There are significant negative, negative association between well-being or equilibrium. Mm -hmm. Well-being. Okay, well being is negatively correlated, correlated with the meaningfulness, other, other constructs. Right? So, what does it mean? What does it mean? The higher, higher the well being. The lower uh, this value, right? The lower for the right. or vice versa, right? Yes. All right. Again, so later, this you'll take it up into your discussion. So, what does it mean? Why? Same thing just now, we are talking about these values, these values. And what does it mean? And compare with other studies. So we analyze it, summarize it. This one, take it up in a discussion, finish it. You don't have to come back here again and again. Right? Right. What about the other constructs? Yes. The association, the other constructs, other constructs are possibly associated, right? Yes, possibly. Other constructs. Yes. Uh, associated associated positively what does it mean 
What does it mean? The higher, the meaningfulness. Yeah. Higher this, all are high, right? Yes. The higher, the nature. Yes. Right. Okay. So that's your first. Summarize this. Discuss this. And summarize this. And take it up and discuss this. Okay. Next. Factors associated with, you can start one by one or collectively with well being. So, this is demographic characteristics. I'm going to do for this analysis, I'm going to do general linear models. As I said, other class, this is at, um, intermediate statistics, right? Far from what you did. But this is easier, one stop, finish the analysis. Okay. Dependent variable, well being. We want to know what are factors associated with well being? Demographics. That's why you have demography. Age, I'm going to ignore age because they're about the same age group, unless you want to no, put it there. Age, nationality, year. Where they're saying, I don't want country and zone here. You still want age, you can put age in the covariate because age was a continuous variable. Next, so what I ask is, what are the factors associated with well being? Model, custom, say, main effects. They're asking which variables are significantly associated. This table is important to check the number each group is sizable or not. Male, female, sizable. Here, living arrangement, others' relatives are relatively low. Others, shall we combine them? Alone, family members? Yeah, can. And put friends and others, right? Yes. So these three are going yes. to combine together, okay? Others and relatives are going to combine together. You can leave it in your demography, it doesn't matter. Because right. size is small, that's why I'm doing it here. All right. So which one are going to combine? Which variables are you combine? Which are Relative. Yeah? Relative, other. Now, once you've done this, uh, once you find the summary and everything, these variables can be deleted. You don't need them anymore. So, your file becomes simpler. And then save the file as, right, summarize. So, the original file is still there. Okay. So now variables, just now you say living condition, now what is that? Living arrangement. Okay, this country, university also will yeah. be Living arrangement. Okay. Alone by itself, right? Yes. Alone by itself, you're, combined, you're combining which one? Other and relative. Other relative. Shall we put together with, uh, okay, other relative. Friends. No, other relatives one group, okay? Okay. Other and relatives one group. Other and relatives one group, we just call it others. Okay, why are you doing this? These numbers are very small. Is there any problem with uh, household income affected or not? Is there any problems here? Look at this. I very much higher and very much lower. Ah, this is only one, isn't it? Yes. What's the actual essay? Is it higher? I think that one is for HOSA? Higher, lower. Higher, lower, the same. I think put higher, okay? Yeah. Right. Also income. Okay, very much lower. What's the last group? Very much higher. Very much higher, I combine with higher, okay? Yes. Right. Very much higher, combined with higher.
identifier very much higher all right and then the other one is the other one this hosc is one that's hosc Right. Okay, let's run and see first. So that's the purpose of this table, okay? So numbers, are they sizable in each group? Alone, family members, friends, and others, right? Yes. Okay. So numbers are quite sizable in each group. Okay, let's go and see which factor made a difference. So look at the last column, p-values. So here, we look from here onwards. Okay, so these are the variables. Okay, which variables significant here? Nation, nation, multi. Malaysia? Nation, uh, household compared to before. Only these two, right? Yes, the last two. Also income and? Yes, age. Okay, sorry, only last and two. Age. As the income changed before and also the age, isn't it? Yes. Now we assume the age group is more or less yes. the same. Medical students are more or less the same. Not much a difference, right? Yes. Medical students. Yes. Frequency for medical students. Is it necessary to keep this as variable? Or can I assume they are quite similar? Homogeneous. 17 to 29. Is it necessary to cut here? Anyway, what do you think? Yes, I think can. You may say this is young, this is older, right? Yes. Yeah, I think, yeah. How old are you now? Yes. How old are you? 20. 20? 20. 20. So when you graduate? Okay, shall we cut at 22? Is it okay, yes. 22? Yes. Yes. Uh, twenty. The cut twenty also can. Hundred. Twenty. Okay, twenty-two, all right? Twenty-one and below here, you can uh, after twenty-one, you can there uh, what? So you cut here, right? Twenty-one. So I'm going to record the variable. Oh. Are you okay? Are you Proof. okay? Yeah. Can we count this uh, on 23? Because on year five, I think most of them are 23. Okay, 23 here. Yeah. This number can be very small, isn't it? Yes, very small. 21, I'm cutting it 21 because like they are able to vote, they recognize it in the adults. Is it okay? Yes. This younger one, this older one. Is it okay? Yes, Prof. So one, 17 to 20, yes. we want to go. So age from 17 to 20. 17 to 20. We call it one, the young one. All the others, with all the others, cutting here, all these 21 and above all these people, will be number two because well-being anxiety all this may depend on the age as well we don't know 7 to 20 and there's 21 will go into the group are you okay yes prof right yes let's bring the variable age now so define age So what's one? Less than equals to 20? Less than 20. Two is more than equals to 21. All right. Let's do the GRM again. Now the H. Uh, that's H. 
H must go into H no more continuous. It will go into vector. H has been categorized. You understand? Yes. All right. Model H goes in here. All right, look at the H now. Comparable number, right? Yes. Too bad. Does H make a difference? No. no. What made a difference? Household compared to Household. before pandemic. Does it make sense or not? The well-being. Yes. Because what are the questions well-being? What are the questions in well-being? Do you wake up feel good spirit? Right. Come on. Is there five questions? Yes, five questions. What are they? Um, do you have frequent thoughts of being infected during this pandemic? Infected? Do you feel what? Uh, sorry. Sorry, Prof. Uh. Can you hear me? Yeah, what are the five questions? Tell me. Uh, let me read the question. The first question is, I have feel cheerful and good spirit. Okay. The second question is, I feel calm and relaxed. Right. The third question is, I feel active and vigorous. Okay. The fourth one is, I woke up feeling fresh and rested. Mm. And the last one is, daily life has been filled with things that interest me. Okay. Why should the household income, whether increase or decrease, make a difference? How because does it make a difference? Those reduced income, they feel better or increased income feel better? Increased income feel better. We don't know. That's the difference. We don't know. We're going to do a post hoc analysis on the income, right? So just do a post hoc analysis for the variable. Which variable? Which income variable? compared, yeah. Okay. Let's not say income made a difference. Now you have to know there are about think, three or four levels. Which level differ? That's how you want to know. So look at this now. Okay. Which group of groups are different? Wherever the asterisk sign, that means that pair is different. Right? So here higher, lower, the same, much lower, right? So which group? So the asterisk sign, this asterisk sign belongs to which group? Lower compared to the same, right? Correct? Yes. Yes. Lower minus the same is negative. Means what? Yes. Negative means what? Yes. Lower, right? Lower minus the same is negative. Then which is higher? Which score is higher? And I'll do one more. So this will be easier to see. Okay. We found the income made a difference. So right here. How do you describe this? Who has lower well-being? How does it go, well-being? The very much lower. Lower, Have... right? Lower. The loss income, higher loss income, is lower, isn't it? Yes. Okay, check this value now. So who's different? Lower, different from the same, right? Yes. Or you take the point. Yes. Take the point, no, the same. Compare the same with the others. Easier, right? Compare to the same, what happens to the lower? Are they both lower? Yes. Compare the same. Yeah. Is it higher here? Yes, higher. Not much a difference, Actually, right? Not, not really. Right. When the perceived income is lower, the well-being, the perceived themselves is also lower. I don't know how it affects. You go and check. All right? Hey, just not age or significant? Right? No. Okay. After we categorize, it's not yeah, significant. Sorry. Yeah. Wrong paper. Okay, 
So you can see from this table. This table a bit confusing. Look at this table. How many groups here? How many groups here? Four. 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 They went Four. into two subsets. Two subsets. Who is in one, not in two? Who is in one, not in two? Much okay. lower, right? Very lower. much lower. It's here, but not here. Yeah. Who is number two, but not in number one? Higher and the same. So who's different? Higher and the same. Uh, very much lower, differ from this two, right? Yes. This one, lower, doesn't differ yes. from either side. Higher, the same, no difference. They belong to the same group. This can go across the groups, no difference. But this guy and the uh, different from, if I remove this, so what's the difference? This differ from this two, right? Yes. So very much lower. Yes. Lower compared to perceived well being lower compared to this. Are you okay? Yes. Now, what you're supposed to do is this. Yes, sir. You're going to take all these values into your write up. Okay. So your demographic table I've been created here. Follow the demographic table. Factors as social well-being. So here will be I don't know how many columns require. Okay. Variable. Gender. Male, female, this column will be mean, plus, minus, it's not standard deviation, now we use standard error, they are corrected for each other, as in, and here's a p-value. So I do the first one, you do the rest. This p-value for all the variables, Copy and paste here. Right. What's the next variable? Next variable? Nationality. 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 Again, you provide below. Next one. Year, right? Years in study. Year, yeah. of, year yeah. of study. Yeah. Okay, put yeah. a value in. Next one. Living arrangement. Living yeah, arrangement. arrangement. Okay, living arrangement. Next one. Household income, right? Household income. Household income. Next one. Household income compared to before pandemic. Compared All right. Change in change in change in income, right? Change in income. Right. Okay. The age I'm going to bring it up. Okay, that's the age here. Right, the age becomes there. So that p value is 0 0.098. Okay. All right. You're going to fill all the values here. I done for one. We do the same thing for all the rest. Is that okay? Yes. Right. Yes. H will come second after gender is H. So your demography you follow follow similar, right? Similar order. So now this nothing, right? But this H. H. All right. Factor as social well-being. The association between all the 
is a perception, okay? Perceived actual value being and demographic variable. Variables was tested. Well, the model should be. Yeah, the results shown in box. Among the tested variables, variables only change in family income. Significant. Are you sure, right? Yes. Okay, based on the post hoc analysis, what did you find? So, based on the post hoc analysis, so we take this. After this, you can delete all the tables, okay? All the tables copy and pasted from the SPSS can delete. Right. So, this is a post hoc analysis. Post means after analysis. We found the difference. Who is different? Very much lower, right. lower and higher. Okay. Higher. Well being. Right. Based on post hoc. Post hoc multiple variables. Okay. Perceived well being among those with who had reduced income income was lower compared to those with no change. Or increase. Again, this is what you're going to pick it up to discussion. Do you follow? Yes, Prof. Right. So then there, stop picking. Right. So between. Okay, correct here as you go. After that, only this table remains. All the information in one table. Once you're done, delete all this. Okay, next. We go to which one I do first? Meaningfulness. Yeah? Meaningfulness. Okay. So we're going to do all in one if I can. All right. Next will be cohesiveness. Okay. Again, right now, whatever. I'm going to show all in one table. Okay, this will be before first one, meaningfulness. What second one? Manageability. Manageability. And the third one? Comprehensibility. Comprehensibility. I think sufficient space to put a T value in between. So the p value, p value for this, and p value for this. Basically, going to be exactly the same like before. Okay. All right. Okay, let's do one by one for this. We will do this. I paste there. Then you plug in. Then for this two. 
Okay, all of 100 so is there for comparison. So generally the models will be varied. So what changes now? The, the only dependent case, the variable. Dependent variable is that's one meaningfulness. The postdoc, I won't test it yet. As you know, which one will be significant? Anything significant? Anything significant here? Gender onwards? No. No. So that's the key value goes in. So nothing is significant. All right. But still, you must enter all the values. All the mean values still must enter. So I'll be in a sequence. Right, from gender. So copy and paste here. So you're going to take these values and enter into this column. Understand? Yes. Right. Yes. Uh, prof, is it yes. the mean and standard deviation together, right? Standard error. The mean and standard error. Okay. Like what I did here earlier. Yeah, all right. Okay. Mean and standard error, yes. right? Yes. All right. After the this table, go. Okay, next variable. I put all in one table easier for you. Next variable is anxiety. No, no, one uh, no. manageability. Manageability. This all under cohesiveness, right? Yes. Cohesiveness. Anything significant? There are some significant, right? Gender, yeah. yes. So we have, that's not what's wrong. Okay, Facebook. Nothing significant just now, right? Yes. Okay. Right, which is significant now? Gender. Okay. Changes in household. Right. So copy this and uh, paste this column. So gender is different. So later go to explain. And uh, living arrangement. Living arrangement. And change in household. Household income. All right. So we really have the values from there onwards. What is this? Meaningfulness. Huh? Mindfulness. Manageability, right? Manageability. Oh, sorry, that's the yeah. Manageability. Manageability. Right? Mm -hmm. And good management. So after that, delete table. In fact, this table I can delete now itself. What do you enter? So all the mean values. Mean values for gender to age. So which variables are significant? Which variables are significant? Gender, right? Gender. Gender is straightforward. Only two groups. We know one is more than that. Gender, who's higher? Male. Males are higher than females for gender. Next, for living arrangement. For living arrangement and also Change income, right? In outcome, yes. Right. For this, I'll do the postdoc test. Living arrangement, living arrangement, and all right, how they differ. Okay, for this now, check this too. 
Right. This living arrangement, actually, when I do this, nothing significant, right? Yes. But you can see yes. roughly these two groups are similar, right? Yes. These two groups are lower, isn't it? Yes. Yes, lower. Higher as for me is not good, right? Yes. Right. So I don't take this value. Yes. What about here? What about here? Very much lower is higher, right? Yes. All right. We take this two. Postcard analysis. No, no. Okay. So here's clear cut. Very much lower compared to here, right? Yes. Right. How to show this yes. in the table for manageability and perceived uh, income? Which variable? That's a variable. Huh? Eight is there. Oh, this is perceived income. So this value will go into the column, right? Yes. Let me copy this. Let me mirror. I do one. Then it follow something similar. Okay. So household income. So we have this. Okay. Okay, household income. I'm just going to put A, B, C, and D, okay? Okay. We fill it up. So where is going? Okay. These values will go into right. So these values will go inside here. This variable. Yeah. This value is going. And then this standard error will go in at the side here. Two decimals enough. Now, can you follow that? Yes. Plus minus yes. 3.5. Plus minus 3.5. Right. So fill up all the values. So which groups are different? Looks like which group is different? This group B. B is are similar, right? B and D. This for household B. income, isn't it? Yes. Okay, household income. Yes. It's not very clear cut. Okay. This household income. These two are similar. This one is the one. Is it income? This is the living arrangement. Oh, this is living arrangement. Yeah. That's household income. Okay, household income. Very clear. Very much lower differ from the other three. Very much lower differ from other three. Very much this is differ from other three. So I put a superscript A, right? This one different. Superscript B, this one different. Superscript C, these are different. How do you interpret this? How do you interpret this? A, comparing which, which pair? A is comparing which pair? The superscript A, comparing which two? This pairwise comparison. I don't understand the whole okay. This superscript A, that's A here, right? Yes. I mean, these two groups are different. Yes. yes. This superscript B, this group and this group, right? Yes. These groups are different. Superscript C, with this one here, right? Yes. Right. PSA, I yes. come to the P value, check the P value. 
check the p-value again, eh? You know why the p-value is like this. Sorry. It's for this one, right? Change in income, right? But just now the one you copy, I think is household income. Is this significant, household income? I think the one, yeah, is compare. It's the changes right. one. Yeah, that should come down, Prof, in the chain in income, change in income. Below, yeah. Below. Ah, that is significant. Is significant. Oh. Yes. So below put not you put there A B C pair wise. Pair wise. So this is my footnote. So when a person reads a footnote, first read the p-value, significant, at least one pair differ. And read the footnote, I'm putting this superscript A, B, C refers to which pair or pairs are different. So A is between this and this, B and so on. So right up, you will say the mean score for which group? Which group is one? Lower, right? Lower. For the much lower. The very uh, much lower is significantly higher compared to those in other categories. I don't put the superscripts. I just say this also can. Is understood, right? Yes. Right, but to show in the table, much more clear. If you find it difficult to understand, just mention this enough. Okay? Are you okay? Yes, Prof. So which other variable significant? Living okay. arrangement of significant, right? Yes. Okay, let's say living arrangement. Yes. How would they differ? Okay, living arrangement. Even though significant, but doesn't show much here because of corrected for. Can yes. I say these two are higher compared to other two? Yes, these two are higher. Yes. Alone eh? and other higher. Alone and other. Right. I'm gonna leave a time being. Eh? Don't put the superscripts. Could be confusing to you now. Don't do this. Just make a statement. Right? Just make a statement. By writing papers, normally we do this. So in terms of living arrangement, arrangement, how they differ? Those, the mean, mean scores for those, among those living alone and other alone or with others. Significantly higher compared to, compared to other group. Or you can say compared to those staying with family. Family. Family and friends, right? Friends. And friends. Family. So it looks like uh, there's something some proofs coming out. Like you must go and take it. Again, this part you take it up. Thank you. The discussion. Discussion. Why? Right. right. The last one. Is it getting complex? Is it getting complex? You understand? Um, yes. Uh, even the master students find this. Yes. Then, okay. All right, last one, the second last one. So change this to? Comprehensibility. So we don't know which pair will be different. All right, which is significant here? Changes in income. Changes in income. 
is that significant? Too significant, right? Yes, two. What is this number? Second line. Um. Okay, this one here, living, living arrangement. And change, change in income. Right, living arrangement and change in income. Uh, this living arrangement just now, same, right? You got the same results, right? Yes. This significant? Yes. And also the same thing on significant. So living arrangement and the income change make a difference in terms of managing, uh, what is it? Comprehensive Comprehensive First one, nothing. Right? First one, not significant. Yes. So next question is, how would they differ, right? Living arrangement and income, how they make a difference, right? Yes. So we do the yes. post stop and electric potential. So before that, we paste this. So it'll take you some time to complete the table. So today we're going to do until here. So this is for comprehensive, right? Yes, okay. comprehensive. Okay, these are the mean values and everything. Next, for stock test. For living, living arrangement, arrangement and change. So. Right. Similarly, can't see much difference. The uh, how's that the income change very very clear, right? Yes. Who's different? Higher. Yes. This yeah. and this two are different, right? Yes. Same like your yes. same like your well-being. Very much lower, differ from this. Higher. Yeah, differ from this. Higher in the same. Right. This no difference. And other variable, even though it's not very well segregating. So okay, generally, what can I say? Are these two higher compared to this? Yes. Yeah. Same conclusion. Okay, that'll be done. See, all uh, whatever you're talking about, just one table only. First, you talk about well being, all the information you need inside one table. Inside one table and one small statement. And come to cohesiveness, just one table, all the information inside here. And we see only these two. Some variables are significant, but not all. And the last one, anxiety. Okay, comprehensive. Done, right? Have we done comprehensive? Yes. Yes. Done, right? Yes. Yes. No, manageability. I think the table didn't copy. I didn't, I didn't copy and paste, right? Yeah. I... Right, the post hoc test complete the conclusion same, right? Yes. It's true, isn't it? So I know the income change seems to affect a lot of things. We find this, yes, in the general population, but even the students seem to have a major effect. The okay, last one, anxiety. Okay, anxiety, what makes the difference? Which variable makes the difference, anxiety? Household income change. Let me get the table. All right.
Okay, anxiety. All right, from here, gender onwards, right? Yes. Right. Ah, there are more variables here. So which variable? Gender. Nationality. Can Nationality. Say, right? right. Actually, less than equals to zero point zero five. Can still say the difference. And this one. Household income can change income. Right sequence, right? Mm, okay. So again. We need this gender straightforward, right? Male and female. Right. Nationality straightforward, right? Yes, Malaysia and non Malaysia. Right. Only the income and change in income. Change in income. All right. So do the first stop test for that. Before that, in case. Okay, postdoc for income and change in income. Income and change in income. One. All right. Is the pattern similar? Who's different here? You can just say that's a complex thing. This differ from this, right? Yes. Just say this income yes. and this income. The lower income, they are more anxious compared to others. Higher, say, right? Other. right. Higher income. Right? This is the highest income, right? Yes, highest. Yeah. So this is like middle income, right? Can I say middle income? Uh, yes. Right? So middle middle income. income. And the low income is different. And uh, here, again, very much lower. Very and much. Very much higher, higher, right? Higher, yes. Uh, this is similar. This one is different. The same conclusion like the other. This is one. Right. Okay, is it wrong? Anxiety. Which variables are right, significant? Income and? Income and changes in income. So income and change in income. Okay. It's all right. Yes, yes, too. Right. 
just leave it okay check so how many tables are all together demography 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 the summary two summary correlation three four five six tables only Okay. Yes. How long? How long will it take to complete the tables? How long? Oh. You can share and do right. Yes. All right. Tomorrow, can or not? Yes. Six tables do one three one three right? Yes. It will be the long table, the broad, broad table one percent as. The other thing is here, one person does this, other field table, another person, right? Yes. Okay, then the part. Okay. So we do this only, we can see a better picture, and I'll proceed thereafter. Uh, okay, send the part to you. And one more thing, eh? just one more thing. Okay. Now, just now, the distraction. So here, we ask them what other problems they have, right? We did all this, right? Yes. Yes. Right. All the blanks means what? Blanks means no. No, don't have. So I'm going to tell SPSS, fill all the blanks, huh? number two. Number one means yes, number two means no. Okay? I didn't ask you to put zero or whatever. I'm going to tell SPSS all the blanks fill number two. Number two means there's no problem. No. So transform, we call the same variable. There it goes. Uh, that variable, huh? Distraction, hmm? time management. Very good. Ah, distraction, right? Yes. yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, until. Yeah. Until. Next until time. until uh, until 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 Right, the dots indicate missing values. So I'm going to ask SPSS put all the missing values. All these dots are missing values. They become two. Right, just watch this value. Okay, all the value become two. So we're going to report. I mean, we're going to give a label. What one? Yes. Yes. With no. Uh, sorry, I have to put, I have to put zero up okay? Hold on, put zero. For some reason, like I have to put zero. Are they changed to two? Now the two and make it zero. For some reasons, it's better. All right. So now I have one in, one is yes. Zero is no. Same for others. Until? Okay. Internet connection. Internet connection. All right. Now, what's the advantage? Let's say I want to know how many people have been this problem. So, frequency for this variable. Distraction. Until internet connection. All right. So I can see. Yes means they are problems, isn't it? Yes. So all the yeses, they are problems. Are they lacking most of the ways? Except for teaching material, no problem, right? Mm. Majority, no problem. 
yes. different strategies also no teaching strategies and still uh, okay okay yeah. but still this number also sizable is it yes right you can see class requirement yes almost 50 percent right yeah hmm. so you can prepare a table putting all this all the information can resonate yeah right yes you don't have to do the table right yes all of face distraction yes. yes no all right next one time management yes no but it's not kiv first you finish the other tables first is it okay yes all right okay so finish the table come back to us then we discuss this um uh, so prof when can we meet again uh once you finish email to me text me then i know you're ready for the next one because Girls, one, week, okay, one week to text that i yes. know you are still delayed <laughs> because prof uh, they have to <laughs> submit on friday the whole report this friday yes, yes. okay tomorrow tomorrow girls yes tomorrow all right hmm. but you please be ready with everything what prof has explained to you including everything in the word doc word tables okay yes so then how to give the table is share work okay. can be done very fast yeah yeah okay. you just share the the results and then the the word the tables and then you just uh, distribute amongst yourselves easy for you okay. don't both of you don't do everything okay uh, so then, Yes. Yeah, I think I finished this as well. Yes, prof. I think better, prof, because they can do. <laughs> yeah, this. together. You show them the table, then. Hold on, let me. I change the order. Two, two. Yeah. 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 Okay. So I think data collection stops, eh? No more, right? Yes. No. Um, yes. No. Structure. Go. I think I finish everything by tomorrow. Then say that. Ha! Yes, bro. Thanks. Yeah. Um, Singhi, but what is the time management? Yes, no. Yes, is lack of time management, is it? Yeah, right in full. Later, right in full. Which one? Now, what do you call this? Are they problem faced? I just broke problem faced. I later can check. Okay. Yes. Yes. Problem faced. faced. So, the so this will be. Right. This is uh, distraction. Distraction. Yeah. Distraction. Right. How many yeses? This yes. No. That's all right. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Number yes. and percentage. Number and percentage. And percentage. one is enough but sometimes looks nicer the yes mean there should be no right yes i think one is enough but maybe it looks nicer on the table okay okay so what i do is duration is there the number and percentage number and percentage right yes like three three one yes Fifty one percentage, seventy one point eight. Fifty one point eight. It's very fast, huh? One three zero, and the percentage twenty eight point two. Right. So this can be done very fast. Let's save this. So what is the second uh, message? Yeah? 
So I think all can be done by tomorrow, right? Yes. So highlighted yellow, uh, that's a thing when take it out of discussion. Yes. So discussion will be passed. Right? So when it's significant, uh, you, you reflect on what is going to be a discussion. So different with gender, male and female, especially anxiety. A lot of articles, females are more anxious compared to males. Okay? All right. So send this. So what time can you finish tomorrow? Morning. Morning what time? So 12, Morning, I give 12. Yeah. 12, okay? Yes. It's, it's all. I think analysis is almost all done, okay? okay. Yes. All and done. All done. Just do it and finish it yes. up. Yes. Hmm. So Prof, we'll meet again for uh, checking the whole thing again? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, so as soon as finish your table, don't wait until 12 o'clock. It's time week first, okay? Chapter 4. Yes. <laughs> Right. Prof, then uh, will you send the meeting invite or should I send? Yeah, I'll send. I'll send. Okay, okay, Prof. Thank you. Thank you so much for your time. Okay. Bye. Bye, Prof. Thank you, Prof. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you, Doctor.